हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आई एम डॉक्टर अल्पेश दाफड़ा एंड टुडे वी विल स्टडी व्हाट इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर नाउ इफ समन आस्क यू व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वेंशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी यू मे आंसर टेलीविजन कंप्यूटर इंटरनेट नो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वेंशन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी इज अ ट्रांजिस्टर and the computers or televisions or internets are possible only due to transistors so we will understand in this video lecture what is a transistor in detail so this will be the contents of our class we will see what is a transistor we will understand the importance of transistors we will see different types of transistors we will see the transistor symbols terminals of a transistor size of different layers of a transistor doping of different layers of a transistor and function of different layers of a transistor so starting with what is a transistor so as i told you in the very first lecture everything is there in the name so just try to understand the name the name transistor is made up of two words transfer plus resistor trans sister right transfer plus resistor so the device that transfers the current from the low resistance circuit to the high resistance circuit is known as a transistor so a transistor is a semiconductor device obtained by growing a thin layer of one type of semiconductor this one thin layer right between two thick layers these two thick layers of other similar type of semiconductor see these two are similar p and p type right and this n is the different material which is sandwiched in between two p type materials it can be the reverse also there can be two n type materials and in between the two n type materials there can be a p type material so that is known as a npn transistor this one is known as pnp transistor so this transistor is basically you can say two pn diodes how these two pn diodes are connected back to back let us see okay what is this p and this is n right can i draw like this and a second diode so this is p this also is p this is n so these two diodes are connected back to back or even for npn transistor it can be like this right this is first diode this is second diode and i am connecting it right so this is of course n material this also is n material and this is a p material right so it is two pn junction diodes connected back to back now why these transistors are so important because this transistor can perform the function of amplification now what is amplification let us take one example see for this transistor there are two junctions i will call this junction a j1 junction this pn junction right and this pn junction i will call j2 junction right now what is transistor transfer plus resistor it is transferring the current from a low resistance circuit to a high resistance circuit say this j1 i have forward biased okay so you know when pn junction is forward biased the resistance is very low okay let us assume that r1 of j1 as it is forward biased is very low say 10 ohms okay and this junction j2 is having a resistance which is reverse bias okay you can see here you are connecting p to the n side that means this is reverse bias and n to the plus side of a battery that means this junction j2 is reverse bias junction right and reverse bias junction does not allow any current to flow it is having very very heavy resistance so say this resistance is 1000 ohms okay let us say for example right now i am passing some current i from j1 to j2 like this let us assume this i is 2 amperes so what will be the voltage at junction j1 v1 is equal to i into r1 i into r1 ohms law what is i 2 amperes into r1 10 ohms which is equal to 20 20 volts and what is v2 i into r2 i is same right into r2 is 1000 which is equal to 2000 volts so you can see you are applying a voltage of 20 volts at one junction at other junction it becomes 2000 volts of course the voltage is not so high for a transistor it is in terms of milliamps and milli volts okay but this we have only taken for example for understanding 
the purpose of a transistor so it is giving very heavy amplification you can call it as a magic box okay a box in which say you apply 20 rupees at the input right and what you get 2000 rupees at the output so a magic box that is converting 20 rupees or 20 volts into 2000 rupees or 2000 volts a very heavy amplification okay the amplification you can see output by input so the output is 2000 and input is 20 so you are getting 100 times the amplification that means 100 times the signal which you are providing to the input and that is why these transistors are so important so these are the actual pictures of transistors every transistor is having three terminals you can see here one two and three these three terminals are emitter base and collector these are different types of transistors which you can see here so let's go ahead and understand the importance of transistors so you can see the development of modern day technological world is mainly due to the invention of integrated circuit chips you all will agree with this that due to the development of integrated circuit chips or ic chips only the modern day electronics world or technological world has developed but these ic chips are made up of transistors which are made up of transistors so before the inventions of transistors Vacuum tubes were used which were bulky, heavy, slow and required large power for its operation. So before transistors were invented, vacuum tubes or vacuum triodes and vacuum diodes were used which were very heavy, which were very bulky, which were heating heavily, which was having a very short life, which was consuming a large amount of power. If you have seen the old radios, these old radios are very big boxes which were having vacuum tubes inside it. So a simple radio was as big as a TRT TV, a very big box. But after the invention of transistors, which were very, very small in size, the pocket size radios came. And these radios made up of transistors were so famous that they were known as transistor radios. So transistors are present everywhere in digital ICs. They are present in computers, smartphones, TVs, industrial automations, everywhere. Everywhere there is a requirement of some amplification or switching and this fast amplification and fast switching is provided by transistors. The usual components like resistors, inductors and capacitors are passive devices where we always get less voltage or current on the other side of the component whereas the transistors are active devices. Whereas transistors are active devices which can be used for amplification of signals and also can be used as electronic switches either on or either off and these switches are also very fast switches so this is the importance of transistors the modern day electronic world or technological world is developed only due to the invention of transistors let us see the types of transistors transistors are mainly of two types bjt's and fet's bjt's means bipolar junction transistor as the name suggests it is having bipolar bipolar means P type and N type, two polarities are there. So there are two junctions P2N and N2P, P2N and N2P or N2P and P2N. So two polarities that is bipolar junction transistor, field effect transistor. As the name suggests, the transistor that is working on the field that is applied to it, field that is electric field or voltage applied to it, whereas bipolar junction transistors are current driven transistors and field effect transistors are voltage driven transistors. So field effect means the effect of electric field that is applied to it. So BJTs may be further of two types, bipolar junction transistors may be further of two types, PNP transistor and NPN transistor and field effect transistor are further of two types, JFET that is junction field effect transistor and MOSFET that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so for a junction field effect transistor you are applying electric field from the gate of the junction whereas for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor there is a metal oxide layer there is a thin semiconductor metal oxide layer at the gate of the transistor and hence it is known as metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so these JFETs and MOSFETs are further of two types, P-channel JFET and N-channel JFET and MOSFET are also of two types, P-channel MOSFET and N-channel MOSFET. So these BJTs and FETs are three terminal devices. Why these three terminal devices are important? Because using this three terminal device, there is a middle terminal which can be used to control the 
करंट इन बिटवीन द इनपुट टर्मिनल एंड द आउटपुट टर्मिनल और यू कैन से यू कैन यूज द मिडल टर्मिनल टू कंट्रोल द वोल्टेज इन बिटवीन द इनपुट टर्मिनल एंड द आउटपुट टर्मिनल सो दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट सिंबॉल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स टर्मिनल्स ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स साइज ऑफ डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ अ ट्रांजिस्टर डोपिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर सो स्टार्टिंग विद अ सिम्बॉल For every transistor, there are three terminals: emitter, base, and collector. So this one is your emitter, E. This one is your base, B. And this one is your collector, C. Now this is the symbol of a transistor. The current arrow or current direction is always shown at the emitter of the transistor. So this is base, this is emitter, and this is collector. And the arrow is going inside you. Now this arrow. is the arrow of a pn right this arrow is always from p to n as it is for a pn junction diode so this will be p and this will be n you can see the arrow this will be p and this will be n so if this is p and this is n the third terminal will be a p terminal so it is a pn p transistor remember the current direction or arrow direction is always shown at the emitter Similarly this is the symbol of a npn transistor here you can see the arrow is coming outside right so this will be n because arrow is coming outside you can see here this is arrow right so this arrow point shows n and this shows the p so remember this arrow point shows the n so this is your n okay so if this is n this will be p and if this is p this again will be n so it is a npn transistor so this is how you show the symbol of a transistor okay i am repeating again the symbol of a transistor is like this in which you always show arrow from the emitter the point side of the arrow is always n because it is from p to n so if this is point side this is n this will be p if this is n and this is p this will again be p similarly this point side is n so this is p if this is p this will again be n so it will be a npn transistor and this will be a pnp transistor i hope it is clear let us understand the terminals of a transistor a transistor has got three terminals emitter base and collector as the name suggest emitter is one that emits charge carriers it may be electrons or holes as the majority carriers if it is a pnp transistor it will be emitting holes and if it is a npn transistor it will be emitting electrons right base is one that provides a base for the charge carriers to pass to the collector and collector as the name suggest it collects so to collect the charge carriers is the function of a collector so these are three terminals emitter base and collector emitter will be emitting the charge carriers base will be providing the base for the charge carriers to pass to the collector and collector will be collecting the charge carriers now the size the size of this emitter will be moderate or medium you can see here this size is medium the base is very thin and collector is very thick as compared to emitter and base you can see the collector is wider now let us understand the doping the doping of emitter is very high why because it has the function of emitting the charge carriers so you can see the color i have shown with a dark color this dark color suggests that it is heavily doped the doping of base is very light you can see here the doping of base is very light why because it does not want the charge carriers to recombine over here and it passes most of the charge carriers to the collector and the doping of this collector is moderate you can see here by the color here you can see a dark color here the color is little bit light as compared to the emitter so here the doping is moderate but the width is very wide why because it has the function of collecting the charge carriers remember as per the name emitter has the function of emitting the electrons base has the function of providing the base to pass the electrons and collector has the function of collecting the charge carriers so we will understand the working of a transistor in the next video lecture so that is all for this video lecture i hope you gained a good knowledge from this video lecture thank you very much